It has the reputation of being one of those communities with a future, a place where the attitude is positive and the ideas progressive. Kindersley, Canada, a mid-sized Saskatchewan town, has a lot going its way, and the promise of the future is greatly enhanced by the Rotary Air Force's presence in the community. The origins of Rotary Air Force date back to 1943, when Bernard Haslow hovered his first experimental helicopter. Bernard is a man of vision, and he soon redirected his passion for rotary-winged aircraft toward the gyroplane. In it, he sensed an opportunity. Yes, he could create a craft that would offer exceptional versatility. And perhaps that versatility could be coupled with a simplicity of design that would make it so easy to maintain and operate, it would be within the reach of practically every enthusiast's budget and flying capabilities. Bernard's passion was infectious, and it soon ignited a keen interest in the next generation of Haslow's. Today, they're completely immersed in making Bernard's dream a futuristic reality. Because of Rotary Air Force, the freedom of flight does not have to be your fantasy. It is attainable. It can be your dream fulfilled. Actually, an autogyro, the gyroplane was invented by Juan de la Sierva, a Spaniard, in 1919. Juan conceived the concept of auto rotation and developed the first rotary winged aircraft. From those early gyroplane origins rose the helicopter. In examining the two today, one finds the helicopter has evolved as a highly technical aircraft that's very expensive to purchase, to operate, and to maintain. The Rotary Air Force gyroplane, in accordance with Bernard's vision, has retained its simplicity and is still very affordable to own and operate. Unlike the helicopter, the overhead rotor on a gyroplane is not powered. It is freewheeling. Air flows up through the slightly tilted rotor blades. This airflow causes the blades to spin. The rotation of the blades creates the lift. A gyroplane requires a forward motion, like an airplane, before it becomes airborne. This takeoff is based on the principle of auto rotation. Remember, the overhead rotor on a gyroplane is not powered by the engine, but instead, it is freewheeling. The airfoil of the rotor blades create a lift similar to that of a standard airplane. that make up the staff of Rotary Air Force feel a special pride and a sense of accomplishment in the work they perform. There's the excitement that an innovative product creates, the satisfaction of going beyond what is necessary and expected culminates when the product is the absolute best that it can be. Then there's the spirit at Rotary Air Force where no one person is more or less important than any other. The perfect environment in which to build a company, to see it grow and thrive. The RAF 2000, a two-seater gyroplane by Rotary Air Force. It offers a freedom, provides the fun 
and ensures the safety that only a Rotary Air Force RAF 2000 can provide. When you purchase a gyroplane from Rotary Air Force, you must obtain approved gyroplane training. The training is available at many centers throughout Canada and the United States. Ease in operation ensures that you'll enjoy flying your gyroplane from its very first flight. Take off in 75 to 350 feet, depending on the pilot and passenger weight. Then. Roll to a stop in under 10 feet when you land, whether the engine is running or not. RAF-2000 has many capabilities that fixed-wing aircraft do not enjoy. Its flight characteristics enable it to move sideways, backwards, even hover, given the right wind conditions. Gyroplanes are considered one of the safest aircraft designs on the market today. Even without power, the RAF-2000 will glide 4,000 feet horizontally. That's over three quarters of a mile for every thousand feet it loses in altitude. And remember, you can land in as little as 10 feet, as slow as 10 miles per hour. Its modified Subaru 130 horsepower engine enables it to fly at an incredibly slow speed, or 100 miles per hour. You build the RAF 2000 yourself it's a little powerhouse that works for you while it provides its own unique style of entertainment. Even the building is fun. The RAF 2000 comes in a kit that contains everything you'll need. There are easy to follow instructions with see and do drawings to guide you through each step in the construction. There's even a video that describes the engine's installation. One more time. Excellent. It climbs more than 300 meters per minute and has a surface ceiling of up to 4,000 meters. Cruise speed is well over 115 kilometers an hour. The RAF 2000 has a range of over 500 kilometers and has a reserve as well. Four hours of non-stop flying. It's a sporty craft that will take you into remote little hideaways for fishing, hunting, or simple privacy. But it's a worker, too, and is perfectly suited for many business applications. The RAF is easily transported on a trailer. You can park it in your garage, and you can perform the maintenance duties yourself. Affordable easy to maintain, fun to fly. The RAF 2000 will put you on the leading edge, whether you use it exclusively for enjoyment or you put it to work. It's creating a new standard by which we will measure recreation vehicles in the 90s and well beyond.
miss your opportunity. Get involved with Rotary Craft today. Call Rotary Air Force in Kindersley, Saskatchewan, Canada. Then sit back, hold your hat, and enjoy the ride.